So uh, I guess the as the company's grown, um, our product portfolio has grown as well, quite deliberately. We've, we've entered new markets. In fact, in many cases, we've created new markets. And the underpinning technology is still VNC, the remote access technology. It's a, it's a horizontal technology play. But it's got applications in many, many markets and in many products. And we've addressed those directly ourselves with some of our own products. So we have shrink wrap product on our website for enterprises for personal use. And in others, we've done it uh, through a second stream of, of revenue, which is through OEM royalties. And we've licensed our software into third party products and, crea and helped create some new markets with our partners in those, in those areas. For example, automotive uh, is one market that we're particularly excited about at the moment. And it's the idea that you can use the technology of your smartphone and all of the apps and data that's on your smartphone, which you carry with you. And when you get into your car, um, it's the apps and the data on your smartphone that projects itself onto the big screen in the dashboard or the seat back of the car. So all cars have got these now, big colourful touch screens. Uh, but what to do on the touch screen? And uh, the car manufacturers have a real problem of knowing how to provide interesting applications and interesting content for people. And this is one solution to that problem. And so our idea there is to simply use that screen as a way of interacting with all of the applications on the screen of the smartphone that's in your pocket. And that's the smartphone has typically got what you're interested in. It's got all your apps, it's got all your data, it's got your address book, your contact list, it's got your music, it's got your navigation app and with all the waypoints set up in it. And I think that's the thing that people would be interested in using. So making it possible to use that conveniently but from the screen in the dashboard is very, very attractive. So what I mean by a uh, horizontal technology play is, is it's, it's a fundamental uh, piece of technology that could have many possible uses. And it's one of the guiding principles of what we've done as we built the company is to keep the software simple. And by keeping it simple, it means it can be uh, embedded and ported to many different types of computer. In fact, our software is on more different kinds of computer than any other application every kind of Windows platform, every Mac, every Unix, but also embedded systems. So the kinds of microcontroller that are in display devices that are embedded in absolutely everything and anything. And being able to do that across any of those devices and have this kind of universal uh, way of connecting any screen to any other screen um, has many, many applications beyond just remote access for help desks. So the automotive uh, market is one of them. There's another market that we've uh, pioneered with um, Intel, and that's to build it directly into the chipset of the computer. So if you buy an i5, i7 Intel chipset, uh, it has our software in it, and it means that out of the box, um, that computer can be remotely accessed for, for maintenance and upgrade purposes. Um, so you don't have to install software afterwards. It's actually part of the hardware. And, and that's really a fundamental step forwards in, in IT. We do have ideas that don't make the light of day, but the majority of what we do does because we're probably a little bit nearer the customer and a little bit nearer understanding what the real world requirements are. So our technology endures and we continue to innovate around it, but we're not inventing, you know, brand new, completely brand new things like perhaps Google are. In fact, many of Google's uh, projects never see the light of day, and they even have a lab, Google X, which you might know about. And those are you know, deliberately projects that, that may not happen for at least 10 years, but if they do, they'll have a 10 times difference, which is where the X comes from. Um, for us, it's perhaps a little bit more incremental, but because the technology has endured and we've kept it simple, uh, and screens will always be around, I can't imagine a world without screens. And that's kind of what we do. We do screens and taking over one screen from somewhere else. And I think that's, that's going to be a universal truth for as far as I can see.